Ed you Raccoon. Might, you might have been yourself, dude. <laughs> And Raccoon for six with 617 points with a 74 and 61 record. Uh, Asian won the week last week, took the crown back. Me being a homer costed me. I think even I think even if I think he would have won the week on points anyhow with Baltimore because I think he only put three on the Saints. I do not remember. I just know that I, I knew going in the Saints were going to lose, but I couldn't help myself. Um, that being said, I don't really know if there's any newsworthy notes to talk about. I mean, the coach fired their the Colts fired their coach and hired a guy with no experience. <laughs> um, no, just Saturday. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any crazy injury news. Uh, as Kuhn was saying before the podcast, Stafford may not play on Sunday. Josh Allen is a day to day. The um, whole Packers team. Yeah, the whole yeah, Packers a, team is injured. There, there's a lot of Packers hurt. Um, which makes my pick a lot easier I, in life. I don't think. I don't know what Keenan Allen's status is. I think Mike Williams will at least miss another game, though. Bro. Oh. No one knows uh, what Keenan Allen's status <laughs> Reports are, I I think they're expecting JT back for Indy this week. Kyron Williams might be that. coming back this week. Pog. Uh, I don't want to have to make a lot of drops, so I hope they wait till next week. <laughs> no, I would rather than have him be ready this week, honestly. I think that would help a lot of people out. As in me. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it would help me out, but I'd have to go through and drop. I need. A, I just need a week to see what running backs are going to be good in my intel. No, in no. I need, I need a mess as soon as possible. <laughs> I, got, I got Deonta Foreman and a bunch of guys. I, know, I got Deonta Foreman starting Yahoo. Dude, right I, I, played, I had to play Isaiah Pacheco last week. That's not fun. Yeah, he had 1.9. Luckily, between my tight end getting 24 and Justin Jefferson putting up points, I'm on a two-game winning streak over there. So the comeback's on the way. Um, Aside from that, are y'all, y'all ready to get into the games? Yeah, I am. Aw, oh, damn. We got another crazy <laughs> Thursday nighter, y'all, as Atlanta goes to Carolina. I got four on the Falcons. Uh, I just, I think Carolina's a mess. But the last time they played this game was good, so hopefully this game's good. But Atlanta seems to stick around in every game they're in. And I just, I'm picking them solely on the fact that they're more consistent than Carolina. So I'll put, for, and Cordell, Patter, Cordell Patterson's back. That's always good to see. So four on the Falcones for Thursday Night Football. Um... Yeah, I'm hoping we see another three touchdown game from Deonta the four. <laughs> but I put six on the Falcons. Uh, I've been riding the Falcons all year. They're always putting up points, and they're a lot more consistent than the Panthers. So yeah. The one week you you did well, you didn't ride them last week, and they they lost. But the other week you didn't ride them was the did you ride them against Sin Friend? Don't you remember? That's actually. Your I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I think that might have been the one week you didn't ride him, and they ended up winning. Uh, I'll put four on the Falcons. Hey, great for, card. Thanks the likes, brother. For the reasons you all said. I mean, and plus, I think Baker starting is fucking Baker. Yeah. Also, I'm scared that hey. Baker comes out at halftime. They don't. If they start fucking PJ Walker, <laughs> if I they see Baker trying out at halftime, I'm like, oh fuck, I lost points. Well, they they did they did say they're starting PJ Walker, but also Sam Darnold's activated from injury reserve. I don't care who's that quarterback there. That, that's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I put three on the Falcons for basically the same reasons y'all said. All right, then heading into the Sunday slate, the last international game of the year, going to Germany. Seattle's going to Tampa Bay. Me and Mook talked about this game earlier. I don't like this game. I got three on Seattle, but like 
it's like an 18 hour plane ride for Seattle to Germany. This is a very weird wonky game on the schedule. It's probably like 10 or 11 for Tampa, but I mean, I got three on Seattle. I think they're the better team. I wouldn't be shocked if Tom Brady and Tampa go in there and pull one out, though. This is just a real wonky game on the schedule. I don't like it. That's why there's low confidence on it. But I'm going to keep riding Gino in his MVP campaign. I've got three on Seattle because I think they're the better team. But like I said, I just I don't like it on the schedule and the long plane ride. I just don't like any of it on a scheduling on a scheduling. <laughs> you know, the way it the way it's laid out, I just don't like any of it. <laughs> well, I have four on Seattle as well. And MVP. <laughs> Um, not really much to say here. Just, uh, the Seattle's looked better than the Bucks, so, in my opinion, so I'm taking them. Also, I retract MVP Gino because I'm still on MVP Hurt train. <laughs> <laughs> I've got six on the Seahawks. I mean, I feel like Tampa's had trouble finding the end zone this year, but that's just me. And the Seahawks haven't. So I, I'm taking Seattle six. Mm, I'll take the Seahawks with three. That's it. <laughs> Great mind think alike again, brother. I will say, me and Mook were talking about Tampa earlier, and I was like, yeah, they haven't been able to score. But Brady's still second in the league in yards, and he's only thrown one pick, and that defense is good. I would watch out for him to get hot somewhere, like I said. I don't like this game because it's all weirded across the country, but Tampa is like kind of lurking in the shadows for me. I guess someone's going to have to win the awful South and that's who I think it's going to be. So uh, moving on, we got the Minnesota Vikings going to Buffalo. Pluto, this is what I what I what I told you to stick around for, because I got one on the Vikings, regardless of if Josh Allen starts or not. Uh, Buffalo has been a Freaking roller coaster. Just straight up and down. They seem to go with Josh Allen. It's very well if Josh Allen starts, they may win this game, but coming off that loss at the Jets, he come out and said he played like shit. I just don't know what Josh Allen we're gonna get. Minnesota's been in all these one possession games and they keep coming out on top in them. And that seems that's always kind of been this Buffalo this Buffalo Bills weaknesses. Yeah, they've won a couple, but they they seem to be better at knocking teams out early, and I just don't think they're going to do that to this Minnesota team. So I got one on on good old Captain Party Kirk, which, by the way, if y'all have not seen the clip of Kirk Cousins partying, it's absolutely fantastic, and I love it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anybody else want to go? <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take seven on the Bills. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Josh Allen's going to play, and I'm, I'm taking the Bills, but I'm not taking them with high confidence. So right in the middle with seven. I'll, if, if for some reason Allen sits and Keenum gets the start, I will be putting more confidence on this well, game. And I will be switching off. Um, I put eight on the Bills. I didn't want to go stupid high as well. I mean, eight's kind of, but, uh, and that is assuming Josh on is playing as well. And pretty much everything that y'all just said, if, if he's not, then I'll be switching to the Vikings. Um, I put five on the bills. Uh, they could go either way. I'm keeping the five, even if case teams the starter. Why not? Let's be spicy. And, uh, yeah, Stefan Diggs revenge game one. <laughs> he gets to play. He gets to play. You know, he gets to see the receiver that replaced him. Oh man, but yeah, five on the Bills. Oh baby, we got the Detroit Lions going to Chicago. Mook, tell us why Detroit's winning this game. Uh, I got eleven on the Bears. Um, <laughs> Detroit does not look good, and it, it, it like I hate to say it, 
But I, I watched that Packers game, and they got three turnovers. I don't think they really got any points off any of them. And Bears are looking pretty good right now. They're looking like they're getting an offense going. Justin Field looks like he's starting to get going. So I put 11 on the Bears. So, Luke, is this you saying that the uh, Lions Super Bowl window is shut? (laughs) Is is this Uh, you waving the white flag? This is your out right now. I mean, I'm just going to hope it could still happen, but I'm not going (laughs) to pick them. (laughs) <laughs> uh yeah i got seven cool. on chicago that offense has been been spicy i think it's gonna be a big week for for him again uh they're finally basing stuff around fields obviously the defense isn't as great without when with, with that without quinn or roquan but i mean it's the detroit lions they are the worst defense in the nfl Fields has been lighting, just got, he lit up the Cowboys, lit up Miami. They've been getting in shootouts. And the Chicago team and Justin Fields is fun to watch. And I'll take seven on Chicago being able to outshoot Detroit. And, you know, I would say this is a shooter game of the week, but I don't know if Detroit's healthy enough to be a shooter right now. <laughs> Boys, it's time to bear down. <laughs> I got nine uh, Chicago ass whooping. Going to Detroit. And I just want to say, I should have took that bet with Asian at being of the year. The Raiders and the Bears. Who had the better yeah. record? Yeah, y'all should have. Oh my god. But either way, I am so happy. I was right about almost everything with the Bears so far. I thought Fields was going to be great. He's fucking looking like a stud. I thought Herbert was going to be great. He looks like a stud. I, I'm excited for this Bears team to see how it keeps developing, and the Lions are dumpster trash, so yeah, nine on the Bears. Uh, I also have nine on the Bears, and I just want to say thank God I picked up Justin Fields for his 40-pointer. <laughs> Bro. Just in time for his 40-pointer. Asian, I have to tell you something. I seen Fields sitting there in my in-town league this week. And I was like, oh, dude, I'm going to pick him up. So I put in for him. And somebody else put in for him and got him. And it happened to be the asshole that's right below me in the chat box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this mofo has Tua. And he picks up Fields. And I'm like, which one are you going to play? Obviously Fields. Against Detroit? There's no way you don't play Fields against Detroit, right? Unless you have Jalen Hurts. That's the only exception, I I say. Oh, dude, it just, oh, it just annoys me. I saw uh. him there. Well, I can't have two good quarterbacks. <laughs> no, you can't. You should just, you know, trade your boy one. Boy, in my dynasty league, I have fucking Murray and Fields. I'm like, God damn <laughs> You know what's funny? I had I had Fields in that league at the beginning of the year, and then uh, I dropped him. Sounds like what happened to me and Ariaku. <laughs> yeah, it, I dropped him because, you know, he wasn't doing nothing. It was nine point weeks. Pluto says, Keck W. That's because I have Hurts and Fields. <laughs> so apparently, you know, Pluto's on that same train with you, Coon. But anyways, I thought I'd get a good laugh out of that. Moving on. Oh, Broncos country, let's oh, ride. No. Going to Tennessee. I got 11 on Derrick Henry. That's all I have to say about this game. I have 8 on Derrick Henry. That's all I have to say about this game. Uh, I've got 9 on Derrick Henry. That's, that's all I have to say about this game. Uh, I got 8 on not Russell Wilson. That's all I have to say on this game. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah, it's it's time for some... This is probably about to be another fast one. <laughs> we got oh, Jacksonville no. going to Kansas City. All right, Kansas, tell us why Jacksonville is going. On the ja- no, I got 14 on Kansas City. I, I can't in good conscience pick Jacksonville. 14 on the Chiefs. Uh, Yeah, the the prince that was... That was promised has looked more like the prince that is phony more times this year than I mean, he got the win last Um, week. He did get the win last week, but uh, Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. 
I that's my, that's personally who I think is the MVP leader right now. So I just can't. And it's in Kansas City. Yeah, I think this. I know I did think they were gonna blow out Tennessee last week, and they didn't. But I feel like they might blow out the Jags, and I'm gonna be sad. But fourteen on the Chiefs. I also have fourteen on the Chiefs. Um, um I, there's not much to say. Oh yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. Just that. Show me Kadarius. Tell me more. <laughs> I have thirteen on Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> uh, I'm with Mook. I got thirteen on the Chiefs. And then we got the Cleveland Brownies going God, to a lot Miami. Of I got 13 on Miami. I mean, Hill and Waddle have looked explosive. They haven't lost a game with Tua there. You know, the defense is making plays when it has to, and the Browns are the Browns. Uh, Brissett, you know, is Brissett. I don't, I don't know if... I, I just don't think Cleveland's going to be able to score enough points to keep up with Miami. And I, don't, I just think that they're going to tire out the Browns' defense. So 13 <laughs> on Tua and the Dolphins at home. I got eleven on Miami. <laughs> is it uh, is it one week or two weeks till Deshaun comes back? Is it week twelve? Week thirteen is when he comes back. Week thirteen, so revenge game three. against the Texans. Yeah, but I got eleven on Miami. I mean, Miami's looked good, and with them getting Jeff Wilson and mixing him in, I don't know why they can't do it with Edmonds, but they mix him in in the runs. It helps their offense a lot more, and the Browns are the Browns, so eleven on Miami. I've got 10 on the Dolphins, and uh, this is my shoot game of the week. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I just want it for fantasy uh, value, but... What I mean, yeah, the fuck? It's going to be shooter on one end, a.k.a. Yeah, the Miami um, end. Chubb's about, even... to get like, Chubb's about to get like four TDs with Kareem getting like one. Maybe Cooper getting like one. And then Hill's going to get like three. And, you know, it's going to be good and bad for me in two different fantasies. It's just going to be a shooter game, and uh, the Dolphins are going to win in the shootout. I'm pretty confident of that. I, the, the Browns will find some way to lose. So, 10 on Miami. I can't it's called the shooter game of the week. Bro, Chubb's about to have, like, three or four touchdowns. I mean, I yeah, no, I, I see... Although I can see, I could see Cleveland just trying to run out the clock as well. Uh, Cleveland's trying to escape with wins right now. <laughs> How much did you put on Asian? I got, I got ten on the Dolphins because fuck the Browns. <laughs> and the next game on the schedule, we got Houston going to New York to play the Giants. Yeah, I got 10 on the Giants and Saquon and the boys. Like, I mean, they're just playing good football. The defense looks great. Daniel Jones is getting it done. Saquon looks great. I mean, it does worry me that they don't have any receiver, like any receivers that they're currently getting involved. It's Sterling Shepard, Wondell Robinson, and who, whatever, whatever receiver they can get off the street. But I mean,. They're playing good football. Gay Ball's got that team ready to go every week. They look formidable. And they're playing the Texans, who it's basically Damian Pierce and whoever else they can get production out of. Uh, yeah, know, Damian Brandon Pierce. Starting, I was going to say, Brandon Cook's starting to miss practice. Very irritated he wasn't traded, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, they should have traded him. I don't know why they held him. Uh, yeah, I think his contract's up. Well, here's the... No, he, no he just got, a, he just got a good too. deal. And he, this would be a perfect time to move off of him. Yeah, if they could have found someone to... Because here's the thing. That if someone would have took him, they would have had to pay his 18 mil next year. But I do agree. If they found the right deal, they should have moved off of him. But I got 10 on the Giants. I just think this is a good team playing a bad team. And I'm going to ride the good team. I got 12 on the Giants. The Texans are the second worst team behind the Raiders. And I stand by that notion. Texans might be better than the Steelers. Uh, I, got 12 <laughs> on the I got 12 on the Giants also. 
Well, with that being said, I got five on the Texans. <sighs> I'm no. selling an upset this week. <laughs> and I think this game will be a very low scoring defensive heavy battle where Damian the Texans have defense? carries carries them to a win. Look, can you name one player on the Texans defense for me? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Why are you gonna call me out like that? <laughs> Just believe in my words, all right? <laughs> Low scoring, oh defensive God. heavy game. Luke's the Texans win. The fight of feisty Texans win. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I knew earlier Mook was going to pick this game, and I was just like, interesting, interesting. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to give any more time to the Texans than they is there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, don't worry, because now we're talking about New Orleans and Pittsburgh. You want to go first, Dave, or you want me to go first? I'm just going to put one on Pittsburgh, that's it. I got I got two on New Orleans. Uh, Yeah, I don't know what to make of this game. Both franchises don't. We're both, we, we both asked. Uh, New Orleans one week can put up points, one week they can't. I don't know which yeah. version of the Saints you're gonna get. I mean, we get a little, we get a little trickier with Taysom and stuff. I, at this point, I'm starting to wonder if there's gonna be a point in the year where we just straight out start Taysom because we're our record's so bad. But we'll see. I got two on New Orleans on a short week, also. I, I do want to say, too, being a Steeler fan, I get, you know, all the Steeler updates and I read through the comment section. The main sentiment in Pittsburgh right now is fire Tomlin for Reich. Yeah, yeah, we got to fire Tomlin. He can come over yeah. here. No. <laughs> yeah, that's the main sentiment right now that everyone wants to fire I... Mike. And, and they, the, the Steeler fans, they they did the stats and all that. The last three years, their stats basically look alike. But Mike Tomlin's zero and three in the playoffs, where Frank Reich is at least one and two, apparently. I will <laughs> say this: it's it, I I will compare this to Green Bay fans. If Pittsburgh, y'all, it's just straight spoiled. If y'all want to get rid of a coach that has won every season at a winning record. It's kind of like Green Bay trying to move but everyone But that's the out. sentiment in Pittsburgh right now is that we're settling for mediocrity. We're settling for 500 or above when we used to settle for Super Bowl or bust or playoff, you know, AFC championships or bust. And now we're settling for, well, let's keep Tomlin's 500. I just feel like Tomlin's a really good coach. I feel like it'd be a shame to see I do him too. Off. I don't think Reich is the answer to replace him. I think there's very few coaches in the league that could replace Tomlin. Like I think Reed's one of them. I think Belichick's another, and I think possibly Arians. I, I would, I would agree with that. Sean Payton, but the yeah, list no, of, there, there's a, there's a very very small handful of list of coaches that I would trade Mike Tomlin in for right right now. Uh, yeah, I'll say this. I'll say this as someone. If if anyone can get Sean Payton having that offensive mind around in an offensive driven league, you take it. But aside from that. I agree with you. There's a you could probably name the coaches on one hand that you would replace Tomlin with, and I don't think Frank Wright fits that either, personally. With all, all right, that well, said, I I'm put one on the Steeler. Um, yeah, I don't blame you. I this is really nothing to say. They're playing I mean, Jalen Warren's get the uh, Jalen Warren's supposed to get more involved. <laughs> Maybe that will do something. <laughs> Did everybody go? Uh, I didn't. I'll just keep it uh, short and sweet. I put four on the Saints. Oh, we're two and two on the trash bowl. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time. Oh my Indianapolis God. going to Vegas. Hey, Coon. Hey, Coon. I'm hammering the Raiders. I got 12 on the Raiders. You're fucking 12 yeah, listen, on the Raiders. Listen, listen, Indy brought a guy with no no NFL experience, no college experience in coaching. They're in full tank mode. They have fired the the offensive coordinator. Ellinger hasn't looked great. I feel like the Ra the Raiders are desperate for a win here. McDaniel's. I feel like this is one he's got to win. 
And I feel like they're going to. And like I said, I would take them and the six and a half and a heartbeat. I think they're going to get an easy win this week. Just Indy is at this point tanking. You're starting Ellinger. You got a brand new offense midseason in there. You brought in a coach. You tell these players they're playing for their future. And you give them a coach that's never done it before. Those players aren't going to be encouraged to play. They're going to be like, well, okay, if they don't care, why should we care? Like, you know, I just. Best of luck to Jeff Saturday. I hope he ends up being good. I just think this is going to be a painful week for Indy. Like, it just everything there just seems like a mess. And why Vegas has not been good. And I do agree with you that that they ass. I don't think there is ass as Indy, especially at home. So. I am putting 12 on the Raiders, and I'm hammering it. Well, I wouldn't go double digits either way on this game. I wanted to go like 4 or 5, but 7 is where I wound up. I took the Colts, of course, because the Raiders are ass. I don't care if the new coach has no experience. You don't need experience to beat the fucking Raiders this year. They're fucking <laughs> dog water. And, you know, wild card, baby. <laughs> Look, hey, I told y'all, y'all can make a friendly wager on this. I'll even give you the six and a half on it. Like, the Raiders have shown nothing that looks positive. They went out, got pieces that benefit them, and looked worse than they did last year. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. I would like to, I would like to politely disagree with the, the, the whole, it doesn't matter if you're a bad head, or if you don't have any head coaching. I, I didn't say them. that. I just said that against the Raiders. <laughs> Look at what Denver's doing with that piece of shit head coach. Anyways, with that being said, I I I took the Raiders with six. I don't know I don't know what the Colts are. I don't know if they're starting Ryan. I don't know if they're starting Allen I don't know if Taylor's starting. I don't know if Deion Jackson's healthy. What I do I know is the Raiders have Derek Carr, they got Josh Jacobs, they got Devontae Adams, and that should be enough to beat the Colts. I don't know the status on Taylor person, but I do know they did say Ellinger was starting again. Oh, will the fuck the out Colts. of the Raiders. Six on the Colts. Or Raiders. Six on the Raiders. Six on the Raiders. <laughs> I put one on the Colts. I don't know why. Uh, teams usually seem to somehow win when they do fire a head coach. That's uh, part of my logic going for the Colts. and The Raiders... I don't know if I can ride that train anymore. It has hurt me. It has hurt me. I don't so hate I'm riding the Raiders if you go low. It. But going look, 12 on them is insane. Look, like I said, I'll I give you the six and a half if you come up with a friendly wager for us. <laughs> I will give you the six and a half. Okay, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't want to put the six on the Raiders. Either. Um, I yeah, I didn't want to put seven on the Colts. Like, this oh, game is I, a I shit feel, bowl. I want this to be a I low feel. point game. I feel good about this. Um, but I will say, Mook, I do oh. agree with your head coach thing. I'll be right most back. Of, most, for sure. Most of the time, the head coach is someone that is at least had normally like an offensive coordinator, a defensive coordinator. It isn't the owner's old drinking buddy. Like Saturday seems like <laughs> a good dude. Seems like he's well respected. But I can tell you, like I was. I was listening, I think it was to the Mac show. It was, it was a show earlier this week that was saying, as a former player, they were like, bringing in someone with no experience, the players are players are going to feel discouraged by that. And I, like I said, it makes me so positive to ride Vegas. And I'm willing to eat that dagger if I eat that dagger, but I don't think I will. Saturday will carry you any Sunday. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, after a night on the town, Pluto. Saturday will carry me to the home, will carry me into my hotel room Sunday morning, even though I don't drink. God. Uh, That's a uh, trashy should I, game. <laughs> should, I wait on, should I wait on Asian, or should I just keep going and we'll get his input last? We can probably do it. Let's get his input last. On this All one. right, Mook, well, we're talking about Dallas, as y'all are going to visit Papa <laughs> Rogers. Going to visit right. Daddy Rogers in Green Bay. He does own the well, cowboy. He does, but have you seen the Packers the last few weeks? They look god awful. They did their beat up. Their so. 
Oh, man. They lost against I'm the Lions, so... the Commanders, the Jets. <laughs> I'm so glad I've been fading them those previous weeks. And I'm going to fade them again this week for obvious reasons. The Cowboys, they don't look like a bad team. They look like one of the better teams in the NFL, I'd say. And Green Bay looks like one of the worst teams in the NFLs in the NFL. So I got the Cowboys with 14. I think it's going to be a disgusting game. I might even be, I might even say it's a shutout. In all honesty, I, I think it's going to be an embarrassment to the Packers. I put town Dallas more than I made them my lowest double digit point for one reason. That's because Aaron Rodgers owns them. <laughs> That's the only reason. Also, I just like all the other matchups that I put high on. The Cowboys should win this. Green Bay's looked like shit. They lost the Lions. That was the last shot for me. They're missing, like, a shit ton of their roster this week. Like, I don't see any upset this week for them. So. 10 on the pa- the Cowboys, not the Packers. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. Green Bay got embarrassed by the Lions last week. Everybody, I think it was everybody has put up at least 24 on the Lions. And Rodgers threw three picks and they put up nine. I That being said, I got eight on Dallas. Uh, I feel like, you know... I feel like it's going to be a very good week to be Mike McCarthy. You're going to go to your old stomping grounds. Probably going to get the win. Get to laugh at at Aaron Rodgers, you know, who seems to be just pointing the finger every which way, you know. Uh, There isn't much to say here. Dallas has been a very solid team all year. Green Bay has been... And then, and I gave you all my word. Wasn't picking the Green Bay till they win another game. Green, if even if Green Bay plays Indianapolis, I guess I'm putting a point on the on the Colts. If they play the Raiders, I guess I'm putting a point on the Raiders. Well, they're already putting fucking them. twelve on those trash cans, so I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> I got eleven like, on the Cowboys. Yeah, but yeah. So I mean, Dallas should win this game. They're well rested, coming off of a bye, and 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 and. The talks of OBJ to Dallas heating up. How do you feel about it, Mook? Oh, uh, I think it would help. I I like it. You know, of course I like it. <laughs> I feel like I feel like he would do for y'all what he did for the Rams last year. You could play him in the uh, slot. You could play him as a two. You know, be another weapon there with y'all's good run game and the good defense. I definitely think if, as far as like. I, I don't want to say this because I don't want to give Cowboys fans too big a heads, but as far as championship aspirations, I feel like Dallas is the best option on the board for Odell. I got 11 on Dallas. I'll be right back. Someone dropped something out in the kitchen, and I just got help clean up. Right. For sure. Sounds good. Well, Ken, right. I'll, I will let you waste oh, time. Oh, my God. We're going to Arizona as they are heading to Los Angeles to play the world. So, bro. It's painful to be a Cardinals fan. This is Trash Bowl version 2. Let's be real. <laughs> I, so I got the full experience last week. So I got to watch my Cardinals actually play a full game of football. But they didn't like have a fucking fluky two interception touchdowns. And, and oh my god. I know I've been saying that O-line's ass. But that O-line is fucking ass. I think we had Five offensive, like, what is it, offsides on the O line. We had two fucking bobbled fucking snaps. One went over Murray's head. It was fumbled. Like, we can't play football if we don't even have an O line that can snap the fucking ball. And Aaron Donald's coming to town. It's like, I, I just, I don't understand how this franchise can go so long. With a shitty yellow line, not realize that I need to address it. I will never understand it. I know we have injuries playing our O line, but still, holy shit. Our defense is the one bright spot, and that's a shocker. Because I didn't think our defense would be shit this year. But they're getting touchdowns, they're pulling their weight. This offense looks a fucking boom or bust. It's like you're starting a fucking MVS in your number one spot and hoping for God to hear play performance. 
It's awful. Um, Kingsbury, I'm starting to, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get off the Kingsbury train. I'm starting to think it's time to move on. I heard talks that we might try to get Sean Payton. They're like some uh, actual offensive mastermind. I was like, you know what? If we got Sean Payton, I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> um, or, or I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even be mad if we... Um, gave Vance Joseph, I think his name is, the defensive coordinator. I wouldn't be mad if we gave him the helm. Because at least he's doing something right on that goddamn defense. <laughs> this offense looks awful. I'm in pain watching the Cardinals and being a Cardinals fan. But the Rams look awful too. I'll put a two on the Cardinals, goddamn it. Yeah. Uh, I I'm putting two on the Cooper Cups. Uh, I got five on Arizona. Uh, whether Stafford plays or not. Well, five on Arizona. Arizona? Wait a minute, I gotta sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think uh, the Rams may look better if Stafford does. The Rams' offense has just looked fucking terrible. At least, at least Murray's kept the offense afloat with D-Hop back. Uh, you know, the Rams every week, I just look at them. Really, I think it might be a good week to stream Arizona defense, honestly, Coon. I'm using them, but I locked and loaded right now. <laughs> but, like, yeah, at least, you know, I see a pulse of an offense with Arizona. And their defense is there. Now, Aaron Donald does scare me. Aaron, Aaron Donald could always change a game. He could change a game and give the Rams a win. But at least I'm getting a pulse of an offense with Arizona. With the Rams, I just, I just feel like they're shot. I feel like it may be the worst defense of a Super Bowl ever. Because they just seem to lose, and that Stafford seems to throw at least one pick every week, maybe two. You know, it's just, oh man. This, that is, Rams a, this team, is a trash bowl right here. Yeah, it's just, it's Cooper Cup and no one else. And now Cooper Cup's starting to get banged up. So, like, yeah, I got five on the Cardinals. That's just kind of where the confidence fell. You know, with me taking the Vikings in the Saints game. Where did I put three at? The Seattle game that I didn't like and the Thursday nighter that I didn't like. So those were the four that were above it. But yeah, I got five on the Cardinals. I just I just think overall this is what these teams are both what, three and six? I don't even know anymore. I feel like a fucking Arizona's oh and eight, eight six, game right the now. Rams are, the Rams are three and five. Arizona's the three point favorite because they're at home. But honestly, Rams games it's going to be more of an Arizona crowd than a Ram crowd anyways. And yeah, no, I, I've got five on Arizona. I didn't think it was a, a bad pick. I feel like this game could go either way, but I like Arizona's offense more. I feel like Murray's keeping them afloat with D hop. So that's my thought process. I'm picking Arizona to win. I will add one thing that the announcers talked about too. While I was watching him. They were talking about how Murray can't sell in the pocket. And he does run around a lot and put himself in trouble, but I don't blame him because that O line crumbles so often. He probably feels like he has to. <laughs> also, you know, I I have not been the, a Kingsbury supporter. I think you'll need to get him the hell out of there. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm ready for the Kingsbury experiment <laughs> to end. I mean, it's obvious him and Kyler don't exactly get along, and you just paid Kyler for the long haul, so. Hmm. Like I said, I so, wouldn't mind us giving Vance Joseph, I think his name is. Like I said, I don't know if I'm saying the wrong name. But I wouldn't mind us giving the defensive coordinator a shot at head coach because that defense looks good with a little bit of any pieces. And if he has any type of offense in mind, I'm sure it'll be better than what we have so far. I'll say this too. I, D-Hop has made more of a difference than I thought he would. I thought he'd make a difference. I didn't think it'd be as big of a difference as he's making. Uh, D-Hop. D Hop is our team. Like he's he's a monumental um, piece of our team. I will say this too. It's not a given that Sean Payton's gonna come back, but if he does, the team that gets him, I'm I'm very jealous and I'll probably hate that team forever. <laughs> so uh originally I had the Rams with two, but if Stafford may not play, I'm gonna take the Cardinals with two. I see it as a fifty fifty game. Both teams kind of suck. D Hop, at least y'all have D Hop going for you. I mean, Cooper Cup, he is that guy. Like I said, it's like a 50 50 game. But with no Matthew Stafford, I'm going to take the Cardinals with two. Wait, no Stafford? Stafford Potentially. is questionable. Uh, 
I haven't even read the report because I picked Arizona regardless. Yeah, mine says the Valley was concussion protocol. Okay, uh, okay, I'll, I'll take the Cardinals with two. <laughs> okay. We're all <laughs> Cardinals fans, are we? <laughs> okay. If, if Stafford comes back, does that all of a sudden switch? Maybe. Oh God, I don't Stafford know. on I, the I two know. and seven on the two <laughs> and seven Wolfie team. Also, did y'all see the clip that Para posted in the uh, sports section? Oh, yeah, and by right what he said. Wolfie said if she wins last, she, she'll put on the fursuit and play them fight nerds on stream. Jesus. <laughs> uh, if he, yeah, if he can't clear, if he can't clear protocol in time for week 10, the Rams will be forced to turn to John Wolford, which I kind of like more than having Stafford. There. You know, I don't mind Wolford as a backup. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Anyways, going from one LA team to the other, got the Chargers going to San Francisco. Yeah, I got six on San Fran. I want to love the Chargers. They're just so beat up. Like I said last week, them and the them. And, I do not feel I was on the wrong end of that Falcons game. They just you know, Atlanta was like, "You win the game." The Chargers like, "No, nah, you win the game." And they were just fumbling and each turning the ball over. It was it was very weird. Oh, you but... may not feel that way, but the final result sure. <laughs> yeah, the the backup kicker, Dicky, I think was his name, hit a game winning field goal <laughs> because know. Dustin Hopkins is hurt. It's been a weird year for kickers getting hurt too. Yeah. Bucker got hurt, Prater got hurt, now Hopkins is hurt. I, I'll i say this, at least the Chargers went out and got a Lutz backup. Lutz was hurt, too. Huh? Lutz was hurt, too. Yeah, Lutz was hurt. They went out and at least got a kicker that can that can hit his kicks, unlike the other teams. Yeah. <laughs> they all signed the same guy, and he sucked for three different teams. I don't know why you give the same guy a chance, <laughs> but you saw the well, fucking sample he size. Like, you went from like KC to Arizona to New Orleans. <laughs> uh, it was it was not a great time, but uh, yeah, LA just is so beat up, and Sam Fran's getting healthy. This is the Thursday nighter. I hope it's good, but uh, I think Sam Fran's starting to get healthy, and I actually think they're gonna make a big run in the NFC, and I think that starts here. So six on the 49ers. Oh, and my final for this game is 24-21 San Fran. Well, originally... <laughs> well, originally, I had the Chargers win in, but I ended up switching to the Niners. I have the Niners with seven. This game kind of scares me, because I think the Chargers can win, even with their beat-up team. Herbert and Eckler are just a nasty duo. And we don't know what kind of Niners we're going to get. Like, so, sometimes they just don't show up. Like, the the 10-11 Broncos game. Oh, my goodness. But then sometimes they do show up. I'm counting up they'll show up, and my score is 32-24 uh, 49ers. I'll say this. Herbert's a special enough player that he can win you a game on his own. I'll stick by that. Uh. If you know the answer to this question, don't say it. But do y'all know what Justin Herbert's career record is? For anyone who doesn't, I do not. But I imagine it's really good. BSC is a really good quarterback. You would imagine. I, I that. imagine it's five hundred. It, it, as of, as of last week, it's exactly five hundred. Before last week, he was one game below five hundred for such an amazing quarterback and such an amazing team. Listen, well, I'll say this: he's a god. Campaign, his rookie campaign, they lost a lot. Last year, they went... Is he in year three or year four? I think this is three. So, yeah, his rookie campaign, they went like four and 11, I think. Something like that. Five and, five and 10, something. It was a really ugly record. Then last year, they had the nine and seven year, and they missed the playoffs. Or it was the 10 and seven, nine and eight. One of those years where they, they lost to the Raiders, and the Raiders made it to the playoffs. Then this year they're like what six and two right now? I don't know, but when I heard that stat that Justin Herbert like last three. week when Justin Herbert wasn't even a five hundred quarterback, that just surprised the hell out of me. Like, I think I think the comment section was like it was like someone compared him to basically Jay Cutler. That's say, not I, okay. <laughs> I, I, I think over so time he'll tread that mold, but I'll say this: 
the Chargers are one of those teams kind of like Cleveland that shoots themselves in the foot. So when it happens, you just say, oh, same old fucking Chargers. Uh, that being said, I don't know if I, I, I chose the Niners with a five and the Christian McCaffreys. Oh, wow, well, boy. And, yeah, I'll give the score 23 to 18. I'm happy also- I'm riding this trail alone, boy. I got three on Justin Herbert, Rainbow Sherbert. Um, the Niners are very much like, I, I feel like these teams are very much like each other, where they both just shoot themselves in the foot, or they just don't perform at what they could be a lot of the time. And, I don't know, I like the Chargers here. Fucking Eckler, obviously, Herbert, obviously. But Palmer came out last last game. It was last week. I don't think it was last week. They were on bye, I believe. But last game, he came out and popped off. Like They still have weapons despite the injury bug. And I think this is a very winnable game. I'm not going to be surprised at all if C-Mac Country comes out and rolls over this team, though. But I'll take three points on the charges for sure here. Uh, Keenan Allen did not practice with the hamstring again today. You would have said, th- no, I'm not, I'm not going to say, it. never mind. Moving I'm on. Just, I'm just reading the report. <laughs> yeah. He came maybe. back for a game and then re aggravated it and hadn't played All I have to since. say is I got off him in Dynasty League and I am a happy man. I'll tell you this that trade I made in my in town league now, Herbert and Allen for Dak and Gallup, is looking worse and worse by the day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have got go big, Mook. <laughs> yeah, it makes you laugh, doesn't it? it but, does. uh, oh, my score yeah, was like twenty said, to seventeen. I think like I said, tough. I I definitely could see the Chargers. Like I said, I think Justin Herbert's special enough; he can win you a game at any time. I just like I said, they're four and four, but the Niners are still like in my my Super Bowl bubble of NFC teams. And I don't know. I think Elijah Mitchell's fixing to come back. May not matter with C Mac being there, but do with that info what you will. Give them another running back to. Yeah, designated for return. Man, yeah, the actual game that was interesting. The last one's not interesting at all. Well, they have 21 days to activate him. Or place them on season-ending injury reserve. All right. Anyways, and closing us out is the Washington Heineke's going to the Philadelphia Hurts. And I got nine on Philly. I mean, I don't really know what else is meant to be said here. Philly's looked really great. Washington, I feel like they actually look better with Heineke. But they don't look on the level of Philly. I do feel like Philly's going to drop at one point. I just don't know if it's going to be in a primetime game. I got nine on the Eagles winning 28-17. I mean, what's to be said? They've dominated everyone they've played so far. I got 13 on the Eagles. And my boy Jalen Hurts, the truth. The dark horse MVP candidate this year. And, yeah, um... I... I don't really think the Commanders have a chance. Phillies is too good this year. Oh. And I put 30-21, to 21, I think it was. I said 28-17. Don't remember if I said that. The one thing that does scare me is it's an in-division game, and these d- division games, especially these two, well, no, I think, what, is it Philly and New York that hate each other more than anything? Or is it Washington? I don't remember. That's the one thing that scares me, though, is it's an in-division game, and you never know how those are going to go. Well, I put 12 on the Eagles. The Eagles have looked dominant, and the Commanders, they've been looking better with Heineke at the home, like you said. I can agree to that, but I don't think they're going to have the firepower to keep up with the, the Eagles. So... My score is twenty eight to seventeen, the exact same as yours. Which that's great mind thinks alike, brother. <laughs> uh I got fourteen on the game. I don't think it's gonna be close. I think Washington's ass. I got 
I got the score thirty to nine. I also have Philly scoring the most and Washington scoring the least. Oh, wow. Hey Coon. Hey Coon. Mm-hmm. Can you guess who I have scoring the most? I don't want to talk to you at all. Bear down. Okay. Well, can you guess who I Maybe have scoring the most? Bear down. Bear down, boy. <laughs> and my fewest points is Carolina, just because that's that's always a solid choice to put there. My fewest is New Orleans. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm changing it. I'm changing it to Indianapolis. My most is Dallas, and my least is Green Bay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's about show, boys. Yep. So, ba 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 ba. Uh, yeah. Thank y'all, all YouTube listeners. I know Kuhn has had a problem getting a few of them out. Hopefully, they're yeah. out now. I don't know if they are. They're not, but I can get this one out. Luckily, so. Oh. Bye, the last two Asian, episodes are kind of getting fucked on because my recording wasn't working, but it decided to work tonight, so you'll get what? this one for sure. Uh, if the other two get up at some point, then there you go, but they could end up being lots of time. Who knows? <laughs> it happens. I still have them on my channel if you have a way. I think I'm going to watch tonight. I'm not in the headspace to play Overwatch. Sounds good, brother. Thank you, Asian. We love you. We send our positive vibes. We hope you are doing well, brother. And hopefully whatever you're going through, get to work through soon, my dude. Aside Bye, from that, Asian. all YouTube listeners, we love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. And as always, from the from the group, from the four of us, we'll see y'all next week. Bye! The Raiders are ass.